Hey guys! What's up? Welcome back to uh, another episode of the Josh and Jesse Show. So, at the moment, we are at a youth camp in New Zealand. and it's Beautiful Tui Ridge, Rotorua. Man, it has been so cool to be here. And there are all these young people and just connecting with them, hearing their journeys. Man, it's such a fun time, eh? Yeah, it's been awesome. So today we have a very special episode for you. We're actually going to be interviewing one of the amazing people who has made this particular youth camp an awesome time. Would you like to tell us about it, Josh? Yes, so uh, we are so privileged. I had the chance to sit down and chat with Alina, who is, uh, she's international. She's uh, from uh, Brisbane. She's across an international the... spy. <laughs> A secret agent, no, okay. <laughs> right, For the no. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've had the awesome opportunity to interview Alina, who is an international speaker from all the way over in Australia, and she's just shared some amazing stories and part of her journey and ministry, so we would just love to hear from her. And so here's our interview with Alina. Welcome back, everyone. So today, I'm so lucky to have my good friend Alina with us today. So Alina, please tell us, where are you from? What do you do? Tell us everything about you. Wow, okay, how long do you have, Josh? <laughs> so just to start with, my name's Alina. I live in Brisbane um, with my husband, Martin, and I'm currently working as a young adult pastor, um, which means I work with young people from the ages of 18 to 30 years. That sounds like such a cool job. Man, you are so lucky. It's awesome. Yeah. Hey, so well, talking about young people in that age bracket, what do you think, I don't know, I guess every young person needs to hear yeah. in that age bracket? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Josh, this is a question I guess I've wrestled with myself, um, you know, at being a young person and, and some of the questions that young people are asking. I, I think one of the key things that we're all searching for is that sense of who we are, that sense of our identity and where we actually get that from. Um, I think as young people we're asking, you know, what is our purpose? What is our, um, yeah, what is our true calling and, and how do we live that out in our relationships and how do we live that out in the decisions that we make in our careers and, and decisions like that. I think that we're also searching as young people for a real sense of belonging and community, um, something that, you know, makes us feel included and that we're part of something. So I think, yeah, those questions of identity and purpose and calling and, and belonging, wanting to be part of something that's bigger than ourselves. I know I've wrestled with, um, I think some of our young people that I've worked with are wrestling with and I think it's universal. Mm. Yeah, and I think probably there's a, a lot of people who would even never thought about those things properly so that sounds like such a cool thing to start a conversation about yeah yep. mm, yeah it's huge especially i suppose purpose and meaning and a community of people around you yeah absolutely mm. and i guess working you know working as a pastor within it like a church context you know, we believe that's something that, that we can offer. Um, we yeah. can offer a community. You know, we have a God that we serve that we believe is bigger than us, and He's the one that gives us our identity. He's the one that gives us our purpose and our calling. So that's the beautiful thing about about being a yeah a follower of God. That is so cool. I suppose a lot of people in the 18 to 30s bracket maybe wouldn't identify with church, or they're not connected to a church, or maybe they were connected to a church. Um, so what do you? What are some of the struggles uh, from that age bracket? that occur within that sort of space in your life. What are some of the struggles um, that, that they have and that the church can, can help and meet? Yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome question. And I think, you know, I touched on it briefly earlier, but looking at, looking at that concept of who we truly are and, and finding that in God, I think that that's a, a, an incredible message that we have um, as Christians. That whole sense of, of purpose as well and, and that calling and, and really basing that on, um, you know, what we think um, God is calling us to and as a community of believers I think we can help have those conversations I think we can help address those struggles um, you know some of the things that we're struggling with we try to find meaning and purpose and fulfillment in so many other places um, you know whether it's relationships that you know aren't that healthy whether it's other other practices and, and things that we do to really try and find um, that happiness and that peace that we're searching for yeah. and you know we believe that that's what God provides um, a sense of belonging and a community um, you know so many of our families are broken um, so many of our relationships are broken mm. and 
and, and really church you know, in the way it God intended it is to meet those needs. Um, perhaps some people who've struggled with our church before may have felt that, that it wasn't meeting that need of community and belonging and there has been too much of a focus on church as just a, an event, a thing you do. Um, you know, does a church actually care about me? Well, I believe that you know, we have a generation of people that really want to see church actually be that and connect with people and provide that, provide that sense of community that we're all, we're all looking for. Wow, awesome. Thinking about church, what do you think um, is the future of, of church 10, 20 years from now? I mean, that'll be a whole new generation of people, a whole yeah. different story. So from your perspective, what do you think church will look like then? Yeah, it's a really good question, Josh, and it's something that we've been wrestling with. Um, you know, our current understanding of church, often we, we talk about church being a building, we church, talk about church being a place, uh, an event that we go to, and yet the real meaning of church, you know, the original word ecclesia, it's a gathering of people. And so church is actually um, so much more than maybe what we've boxed it in to be. Yeah. Um, I see our church really breaking down those four walls yeah. um, that we sometimes put around it. Um, I see our church meeting, meeting the needs of our community and actually um, being present and a part of people's lives and, and being relevant. I see a hunger in the young people that I work with um, actually wanting to, to, to make a difference wow. and to be part of something that's more than just a weekend service, but it's actually it's a, it's a life transformation. It's meeting the needs of the people that are in their world. Uh, I yeah, don't know exactly what 10 to 20 years will be looking like, but that's my heart for it. And I believe that you know the young people that are in this generation are looking for that. Yeah, wow, that's so cool, man. That sounds so exciting. Like just even thinking about that prospect of church totally changing shape, I suppose. Um, so thank you so much for talking to us today. And man, I'm just so like on board and on fire for the stuff you've talked about. That just sounds so cool. So thank you so much for your time. You're awesome. Thanks, Josh. Oh. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.